Kalisita in Karpa. This technique will show you a bit about moving in a circle in Karpa, utilizing the, the torso, torso connection of the follower and the leader. We'll go to second position, presenting the torso to each other. It starts to move back, so she creates all of her weight depending on his torso connection. And from here, let's take a good look at the footwork. We'll scribe a, a path around the follower, starting by turning and pivoting on the right, so the left foot brushes through, crosses behind, the right foot goes to the side, and we, we keep in the same connection of, of the carpa, repeating the same movement, right foot side, left foot behind, right foot side, left foot behind, and we can create more and more degrees of carpa. We can go out to the cross and start again with this stretching action of, for the follower. And she's gonna try to do it this time with both of her hands released from the leader. So left arm up. So you can see all the technique is done through the chest. I'm giving her a lifting action to make sure she doesn't slide. And we go to the cross. For this, I really have to feel the energy from the ball of the standing foot, the right foot, all the way up, opening the sternum and right up through the head. So with that energy completely lifting my own body, then it's much easier for George to balance me as we go around in this calicita. It's important for the leader not to lean forward or to try to compensate by leaning too much, but rather to present his chest. Finding a position and getting your balance. And the balance is toward each other, so that you're creating a tent-style lean, so that this style is uh, it's always dependent on a shared axis. The calicita goes in a circle in a very constant radius. You can increase the amount of lean, but it's difficult to stay in it too long, so you have to exit into the, the cross or do another move, but it takes, it takes some practice. Um, one way for the follower to develop her strength is to uh, the use of the wall. Mm -hmm. I like to do an exercise where just use the wall to present the sternum and balance yourself on the wall. Since we have no wall right here, we're going to use George as the wall. <laughs> okay. So what we could do is like to step side and up onto that position, position two, and then presenting the sternum, rest yourself on that wall and free your arms. Practice pushing down through the ball of the right foot, have, using all the muscles, engaging all the muscles up through the body, stretching the legs, stretching, feeling the energy up through the top of the head, and practice like this on the wall. And when you like, you can move your feet a little bit further away from the wall, and you can get a deeper carpa and get a feeling for that. People always ask, let me get off the wall here. <laughs> People always ask, or the followers often ask, about the position of the back. Mm -hmm. Maybe we say something about that. Yes. If you present the sternum to the partner, you'll have the ideal position for the arch of the back. The arch is not forced, but rather from an opening of the sternum, you get the center of the torso. Let's see, we'll go to second position. And if you can see the, cur the curve of her back, it shows the ideal position. If she were to roll her chest forward on the chest, you'll see that the, the arch changes. And if she goes too low with the stomach, that, hurt, that, that may hurt as well. So from the sternum, you have the ideal position of pressure to the partner with the ideal shape and form of the arch. It's very elegant. And really, the, the only place that the line is broken is really right here, not at the waistline or down here at the lower back but up here, at the top of the back. So if I'm standing straight, everything's in line, but as I present my sternum, we're, we're breaking a little bit there. And you notice it's directly 
directly back of the sternum. And actually it looks even a little bit different as I'm actually leaning. So it's a very soft and gentle position. It's really comfortable. It should create no additional stress on the lower back. The gentleman's arm should be just at that arch to create the ideal, ideal contact. The contact toward him and the contact on the other side. This creates a much better technique and ease in doing the carpa and dancing the calicita. Let's show you to some music. <laughs> 